All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving praises and glory to the Heavenly Father through His Son, which the, he which the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, all right, and through the Holy Spirit. So, Kahalah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rekakadash. Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone, who we receive the truth from through the Spirit. And shalom to the brothers that labor in this gospel in truth and sincerity. This is part thumb back with another lesson through the Spirit. And in this lesson, I want to get into the names. All right. So the times that we living in is very beautiful times for the for the uh, for the elect. All right, which we pray uh, that we are part of the brothers that's putting in this work for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We pray that we are part of their elect. And now we in the last days, you see, it's a lot of confusion, all right? It's a, a lot going on in the news with this um, government shutdown, with the border patrol, with the wall being built, with uh, the people losing their jobs. And this is our biblical prophecy. This is the most high fulfilling his word and uh, keeping his promise that he will destroy Esau which is uh, the so self-proclaimed white people today, and his kingdom, which his kingdom, which his kingdom st starts with this whole beast system, all right? Uh, NATO, the EU, and America is a part of NATO, and America controls, all right, is that woman sitting upon the beast controlling this whole, the whole energy of, this uh system, okay, in the in the Most High is bringing this system, all right, starting with America down, all right, bringing it down, taking it out of power, and he's rising up his uh men, okay, the men of the Lord, the prophets, all right, he's raising up the nation of Israel, starting with the men, and this is what's going on in the planet Earth, all right, the Bible is speaking, so. In his lesson, basically, I want to um, exalt the names of the Heavenly Father because you have Hebrew Israelite camps that don't exalt the name of the Heavenly Father, that say we don't have the name of the Heavenly Father, and they are completely wrong, all right? They're going off in their false prophets, okay? So this is Romans, the ninth chapter, uh, in verse, I started 15. It says, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. All right? Because the Most High, he chose Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, to receive the promises and the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. All right? And for uh, Jacob, all right, to be the son of the heavenly father. All right, through through the promises given to him, through the laws given unto him, and he put by Esau. All right, which was an, uh, the first son of Jacob. I mean, first son of Isaac, Selachia, and Esau did not receive the blessings of the kingdom, the blessings of the Most High being his power, the blessings of getting the law, statutes, and commandments, and being part of that. Uh, the sons of the heavenly Father. All right, the sons of God. All right. So, verse 15 is saying, look, the Most High, he going to have mercy on who we want to have mercy and have compassion on whom he have compassion. So, then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but the Most High that show of mercy. So, the Most High chose the Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and did not choose the self-proclaimed white people, all right? Did not choose the so-called white man. All right, and his descendants, okay? But he, in fact, chose the Israelites. Verse 17, For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. And you uh, elite banking families, okay, of the nation of Esau, Edom, you Amalekites, all right, you, you so-called Jews, you fake Jews, all right, you, you, you are the modern-day Pharaohs today, all right? And for the same purpose, the Most High has raised you up, all right? The Most High has raised up the basis of men, all right? Referring back to Daniels, uh, it says that I might show my power in thee and that my name 
might be declared through all the earth. All right, because back then, when the Most High, uh, during the Exodus, when the Most High delivered the children of Israel, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out from Egyptian captivity, out from under Pharaoh's captivity, he made his name great in the planet Earth. And this is what's going on today. The Most High is making his name great in the planet Earth. So when the Most High really turn up these plagues, really turn up these prophecies, he's making his name great in the planet Earth. And it's going to be undeniable who's doing this. All right? And how will the people know who's doing it? Because the prophets are out there prophet preaching the name. They're pushing those names, man. All right? So... I want to go here to uh, second uh, Salakia Baruch. Uh, let me see the second chapter. Let me see uh, Baruch the second chapter. In verse thirty, it says, "For I know I knew that they would not hear me." Well, let me start up. Verse twenty, uh, verse twenty-eight. It says, "As thou spakest by the servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them." And that prophecy has happened, and it's still playing out today. Where the children of Israel for their disobedience and not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments in the covenant that made, that they made with their heavenly father, they have suffered the curses. And one of the curses was being made small amongst the heathen nations, all right, and being scattered amongst them. That's why you have so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans all around the uh, country, all right. All of, on the four corners of the earth, you have Israelites scattered, okay, amongst all these different nations. And we have become a small in number and greatly despised, okay? Verse, it's verse uh, 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me. So the Most High already knew what was going to happen because it is, it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And that's what's going on today as well. We are remembering ourselves, coming back to our nationality, coming back to our to the law, statutes, and commandments, coming back to our heritage and our customs as a people, all right, to the best of our ability according to the spirit, all right, we are rehearsing, rehearsing the righteous acts, all right, and the the the, uh, the key and the, the most important thing about coming back to our nationality is coming back to our power, all right? Because coming back to our power, we get the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of our uh, of our customs, of our heritage. All right. So it first starts with coming back to our power. All right, and then we will start uh, getting the knowledge of who we are, the things we did, our forefathers, and things of that nature. But it starts with their name. Coming back to our power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah is that comforter. And he said he would teach us all things through the spirit of the comforter, man. Which is the uh, spirit of truth. Alright? Verse 31. It says, And shall know that I am the Lord their power. So we're going to know who our Lord and our power is. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. So those guys, namely IUIC, you know, which I was going over uh, uh, previously, they has they have blasphemed the name. All right, they teach that we don't know the name or we don't have the name, but that's a lie, man. All right, so they don't have the uh, heart, meaning the mind. All right, they don't have the understanding. And they don't have the ears to hear. They're not hearing their heavenly father through the spirit, okay? And speaking through his prophets. Starting with the apostles of great millstone on down, all right? And it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So according to the prophecy that we will come, we will lose our nationality, we will be scattered. But the most high knew that. 
and he will bring us back into our nationality and we will think upon the names in our captivity where we have been scattered, man. So this is prophecy, man. All right. Right, man. So that's the point right there. I could keep going on, but that's pretty much the point that we have the names and that we will be thinking upon those names, man, and giving all praises into those names in our captivity. Okay. So I want to get this right here. Uh, four and let me see. Four and twelve. It says neither. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And we're going to be saved by giving all praises to Yahweh, which is the Father through the Son, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And no other names, because you have names of other idols, but the Most High is making His name known. All right, by fulfilling his prophecy, calling on Jesus Christ, that's calling on the idol, man. All right, Ptolemy, you go into the history, Ptolemy set up that idol, man. All right, going back into Egypt, man. All right, that's the idol. Of course, the name Jesus and uh, Jesus Christ is in the Bible, but like with everything else, you have to, you have to uh, break it down. You have to give the understanding unto the people. All right. When Yahweh Shah was walking on the scene, all right, he was called by his Hebrew name because he was a Hebrew Israelite. All right. The letter J didn't come into the late uh sixteen the late sixteen hundreds, man. All right. Well, the late fifteen hundreds into the sixteen hundreds. Okay. So that wasn't his name, man. His name is Yahweh Shah, and we will have that name, man. All right. According to prophecy, this is uh Isaiah nineteen. Let me see. This is uh Isaiah nineteen and seventeen. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. America is spiritual Egypt, man. In ancient Egypt, we went into hardcore slavery. In these days we living in today, we we still in hardcore slavery. The word Egypt, uh, the word Egypt means but well, the word Egypt goes back to the Hebrew word Matazarium, which goes back to the uh, uh, the root word Matazawar, which means bondage, man, or slavery. Okay, it says everyone that make mention. Make it mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of Yahweh host. All right, because they're going to be scared of the counsel which is coming through the prophets, which they are prophesying the prophecies, man. All right, there's going to be race wars, race riots, insurrection against the government. People, these workers are going to rise up against the government because why? They've they been treated unfairly, man. And you see it playing out. And they're going to be afraid because of what? The counsel of the Most High, Yahweh, which he had determined against it. In the day, in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. All right? And those, uh, those five cities are talking about the brothers that's out there on the highways and the byways preaching the gospel, man. All right, in truth and sincerity, and these other starting starting with their leaders, okay, because we we believe through the spirit you have uh, some of the elect in these other camps, but they if they are part of the elect, you know, they will come out from under these false leaders. All right, so these are the sincere brothers. All right, here at Great Millstone and follow the like doctrine of the apostles. All right. Those five cities are those brothers out there preaching the word, man. All right? Speaking the language of Canaan, which is Hebrew. They're coming back into their nationality, man. All right? And and swear to Yahweh host. So they're going to be swearing to the Most High, man. Praising that name. One shall be called the city of destruction. In that day there shall be an altar 
to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt. And that's the brothers, as I said before, out there making their bodies a living sacrifice on the highways and the byways. And that pillar at the border thereof. All right? To Yahweh. So as our ancient forefathers did, all right, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they each made uh, 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 altars to the Most High, and they put the name on it, man. All right? So what name are you coming in if there's no name, man? All right? When you go out there and you're preaching the word, what name are you coming in? All right? We hear a great millstone storm with the apostles on down coming in the name of Yahweh, man. All right? In uh, Exodus, the third chapter, the Most High said, this is my name, all right, in the memorial to all generations. Do you believe that? All right. And, and uh, as I said before, we're in the last days, and that name, the Most High is making his name uh, 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 more evident in the planet Earth. And to, in order to receive salvation, you're going to need to call upon that name and be praising that name in order to be protected from the place that's coming, man. All right. Let me get it. This is uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. Mean protection, man. It's going to it's gonna uh protect us. It's going to be our guardian. All right. The righteous running into it and are safe. And you got to believe that, man. All right? The righteous going to run to it and they're going to be protected by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and the times that we're coming in. So with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh,